going up for a victory roll over the whole field. Here we go. Super locked in airplane though. If you're looking for a great first balsa warbird, and you've mastered your 1600 millimeter warbirds looking for something to move into, this airplane is rock solid. Hey, what is up? And welcome back to Motion RC. My name is Wesley. I'm the product specialist here at MotionRC.com. And today I am going to be flying the Nexa P40. I actually got this from James when we were at Top Gun. If you haven't seen his videos of him building, flying, getting this thing all ready, go back and check those out. But I got it from him and we've been here at the Jacksonville Memorial Day Warbird fly-in, having a good time with it. And I wanted to take you guys for a flight. Uh, I got this set up using the Hobby Eagle A3L gyro to help smooth it out a little bit. We've got a 6,000 milliamp 6S battery all the way forward in the nose. And uh, without further ado, let's have a beautiful flight. Such a gentle airplane. Let's roll it down the runway and lift here. Ooh, it's a little windy over them treetops right now. It's probably 10 gusting to 15 right now if I had to guess on a wind speed, but it's down the runway for the most part. Taking it nice and easy here for this first part of the flight. Going to a low rate for my elevator. Look at how stable she is. Gorgeous. Good trying to turn. We got a crosswind hitting us now. Let's let it rip. Let her eat. You know, this has been such a fun airplane. I've been really enjoying it out here this week. Even in the wind. Nice with a balsa plane. You get a little more weight, a little more penetration. Going up for a victory roll over the whole field. Here we go. Super locked in airplane though. If you're looking for a great first balsa warbird, and you've mastered your 1600 millimeter warbirds looking for something to move into, this airplane is rock solid. Better turn into the wind. Plenty of horsepower. Pull her over. And it flies beautifully inverted too. Come by for a nice pass here. You can see just rock solid. Let's get a touch and go in. Wind's kind of shifted back down the runway. Really surprised how nicely this airplane lands. So one notch of flaps. Some like to call these the takeoff flaps. No down elevator mix has been needed. Just as it comes. Establish it, keep it at about a quarter throttle. Fly it down the runway and up we go again. Gear up flaps up, coming across the field, barrel roll. Turn it up for a hammerhead over there. Wing over some would call, however you'd like to call that. Into a presentation pass. The P40 is just epic here, guys. It's just super stable. It's got a good sound to it. I haven't even gotten anywhere near full throttle. There we go. Closer to full throttle, it really sings. Come down the runway once here. Let her sing. This is into the wind. Got a good sound to that prop too. Do a downwind high speed pass now.
Defensive circles out in the middle. That green looks great against the trees. All right, let's shoot a few more touch and goes with it. Then it'll be about time to come in. Here. Said I'll come in with one notch of flaps as the wind is cooperating right now and down the runway again. Like I said, it's just such a gentle flying airplane. Easy to do touch and goes, have a good time with. There's my timer. We're going to call this one a full stop on the next one. And we'll go on and go full flaps because the wind has slowed down a little bit for us. So we are at half flaps right now. I always like to dump the flaps after I make my turn to base. So we're going to start our turn to base. Full flaps coming in. Down to zero power. Button is established. Putting the power back into about 10%. Steer our feet until we're straight. Guys, that is as easy as these Nexa airplanes are if you've been looking to get into a Balsa airplane. Now let's get this one over to the bench. We'll give you a battery report and kind of show you around the model. So guys, that was an awesome flight of the Nexa P40. Uh, like I said, our buddy James already has put this together. If you haven't gone back and checked that out, uh, he has a full assembly video actually out on this Nexa P40. Uh, he has also done uh, quite a few flight videos, so go check out James's videos. Now, what we'll start with today is showing you the retracks on this. These are the factory retracks that come with the airplane right out of the box. They are twist and turn Nexa uh, retracks. So here you go. They've been pretty bullet pull for us. Up and down, nice and clean. Boom. We are also running on the uh, recommended power system, propeller, uh, ESC, all that for the airplane. So if you want yours to fly just like mine does, uh, you just get that order now button there on the website. Uh, now inside of the model, I do have the Hobby Eagle A3L gyro in here. Uh, it's installed, makes this airplane just as rock solid as could be. And it also has the 6,000 milliamp Admiral yeah. pack in here. Let me pull that out. I'll get you a battery report. So that was 391 a cell or 64% on that flight. So definitely had a little bit more in the tank to go. So there it is, guys. That's the Nexa P40. Uh, if you haven't checked this out, definitely do so. Make sure if you haven't checked out the Motion RC customer community page on Facebook, go over there, share your custom repaints, share your projects that you've got going on on your workbench right now, and share your flight videos with us. We always love seeing the customer community and how it's going. Uh, we're out here at a Warbird event right now, so we're going to get back to flying. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. So whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has what you want, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.